Welcome to the American Story. Stories about what it is that makes America beautiful. Heartbreaking, funny, inspiring, and endlessly interesting. This is Chris Flannery with the Claremont Institute. I call this one The Right Stuff. America lost a hero a short time back. Chuck Yeager passed away in Los Angeles at the admirable age of 97 on December 7, 2020. Charles Elwood Yeager was born in West Virginia in 1923, was shooting and skinning squirrels and rabbits for family dinners by the time he was six, enlisted in the Army Air Forces right out of high school, and was flying P-51 Mustang fighters in the European theater in World War II by the time he was 20. He was shot down once over France, carried a severely wounded flyer over the snow-capped Pyrenees to neutral Spain, then returned to his base in England and back to the fight. He became an ace, shooting down 13 German planes, five in a single day. In a long and full career, Jaeger later commanded a fighter wing and flew 127 missions during the Vietnam War. He retired as a highly decorated brigadier general in 1975 and 10 years later received the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the nation's highest civilian award, from President Ronald Reagan. But what made Chuck Yeager famous was something he did between wars as a test pilot. On October 14, 1947, Flying at 43,000 feet over the Mojave Desert in a rocket-powered Bell X-1 research aircraft, he became the first human being to fly faster than the speed of sound. No one knew until then whether a plane breaking the sound barrier, about 760 miles an hour, would be torn apart by the shock waves. He found out it wouldn't. Jaeger became a legend in the post-World War II test pilot fraternity. But in the larger world of the 1960s and 70s, it was the astronauts who were on the covers of magazines. A journalist with a lively mind and a pen of fire assigned himself to write about the astronauts of NASA's Mercury program and discovered Jaeger and a remarkable brotherhood of test pilots in the California desert. The book that resulted made Chuck Jaeger a world celebrity. Tom Wolfe published his excellent and best-selling book, The Right Stuff, in 1979. And then the movie of the same name came out a few years later, with Sam Shepard playing Jaeger. Wolfe's book was a dazzling and revelatory portrayal of astronauts and test pilots in their world. He gave new life and meaning to the phrase that was his central theme and the title of his book, The Right Stuff. And as Wolfe wrote with his usual flair, the most righteous of all the possessors of the right stuff was Chuck Yeager. Roughly speaking, the right stuff was the kind of courage you can imagine it takes to be a test pilot who has his daily work puts himself in a powerful, untested machine and tries to push it to its limits into the unknown. Clearly, bravery was involved. But as Wolf wrote, it was not bravery in the simple sense of being willing to risk your life, any fool could do that. No, the idea seemed to be that a man should have the ability to go up in a hurtling piece of machinery and put his hide on the line and then have the moxie, the reflexes, the experience, the coolness to pull it back in the last yawning moment and then to go up again the next day and the next day and every next day. Those who had the right stuff knew it and they didn't brag about it. To the contrary, an essential part of having the right stuff, of being cool and reliable in every heart-stopping, hair-raising emergency, was to be nonchalant about it. And there was no more natural expression of this nonchalance than the Appalachian drawl that all the test pilots, and eventually every military or commercial pilot in every language everywhere in the world, seemed to pick up from Chuck Yeager. Jaeger had reservations about being famous for having the right stuff if it implied some gift given him at birth. Without question, not everyone is born capable of being a test pilot. But as Jaeger insisted, there is no such thing as a natural-born pilot. It took practice and work. 
I worked my tail off learning how to fly, he said, and worked hard at it all the way. If there is such a thing as the right stuff in piloting, then it is experience. The secret to my success was that somehow I always managed to live to fly another day. And however we might perform in a pinch, he said, I was always afraid of dying. Always. But he did what he knew to be his duty. That was that. We are grateful for the example and the memory of Chuck Yeager, because each of us wakes up every morning strapped to a machine infinitely more problematic and complex than the amazing rocket-powered Bell X-1. And we launch ourselves into an unknown every bit as daunting as the sound barrier. It's called life. And the memory of our heroes helps us do our duty with something like what we hope might be the right stuff. Thanks for being part of the American Story. This is Chris Flannery with the Claremont Institute. The American Story podcast is made possible through listener donations. If you'd like to support the production of more stories, please visit theamericanstorypodcast.org and click Donate. By visiting theamericanstorypodcast.org, you'll also find that each episode has resources for you to explore. That's theamericanstorypodcast.org.